That is some cold sand. It's dark. You can't even see it. Uh, Friday. Yeah. yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Friday. Uh, as planned, because we are staying uh, on a on a beachfront property, uh, we are coming out here at sunrise to see the ocean. So this is exciting. Yeah, it's cold. To walk into the, you know, 50 degree water, water but- You uh, have to try it no, when I you're don't. here. Even if it's like February. I've touched the ocean before when it's warm. And I'll do that again when it's warm. We'll come back in August. But you've never seen the Atlantic, right? Nope, here it is. So this is your first time seeing the Atlantic. That's exciting. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. Hold on, it's real dark. I think you just turned your flashlight on. Yeah, that's that's Torch. Okay. So now I can see better. Yeah, and I can see worse. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have like 20 minutes ahead of us, and you're really trying to reduce your foot stamina. Yeah, um, I have the disease where your blood doesn't go to some fingers and toes, so. Ah, perfect. <laughs> what is that called? I forget. It, yeah. I don't, I don't remember. It's fine. I have it. Okay. It is... It's already starting to get... So we got 25. No, it's dawn. Oh, do, wait. Oh, so what time is that? 6.33 right now. Oh, it's so civil, we're, it's happening. It's civil yep. dawn right now. Okay. Neat. So the other thing uh, is that it is raining. <laughs> It's currently just drizzling. We are walking away from the hotel, actually, which is a really bad, dumb idea, because if we do that and it changes immensely, yeah, yeah. we are gonna have to walk back. I mean, so I we, should, we should probably just chill in front. Like, there's nothing to actually walk in. Yeah. We're not gonna walk into the sun. Yeah. I don't think so, anyway. No. I've never been here. It's not gonna be that way. Yeah. Actually, so. not even going towards the sun. Yeah, we should probably just. Let's walk a little bit to the inlet. Okay, I'm just, I'm just abiding my time because at some point I feel like it is definitely going to come down hard, and when it does, no. all three of us are going to go. Mm. I looked at the 15-minute forecast, and we're in good shape. The heaviest rain was at the beginning of the hour. Really? Yep, hold me to it. Okay. Whoa, that's cold. Yep. That's real cold. It's actually. It's seven. Well, it's not seven. The uh, the temperature outside is actually quite nice. So it's it's you know six thirty a.m. Yeah. and it's sixty three degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so it's it's quite enjoyable. I mean, I got a long I got a I was I have what I was uh, wearing yesterday, the long sleeve shirt, and I'm I'm good. I thought we were yeah, I mean, also, I'm glad that it's not, I'm glad that it's not any colder than this, because that would be unpleasant, but this, this is fine. Yeah, and the thing is, I woke up before my alarm went off to yeah. wake me up to do this. So I did too! I was going to be awake anyway. How, well, how, how much earlier? By like 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, I woke up probably a minute, uh -oh. a minute or two before the alarm. Okay. So like right before I, I woke up and I was like, hmm, let me roll back over. And then the alarm went off and I was like, oh. Time to, time to not be rolling. And Dan is Dan is continuing to catch Z's because uh, unlike Brandon, he has seen the ocean and has seen the sunrise. And was like, I don't gotta see that again. Yeah, I'm from the landlocked states. Yeah. Uh, all four, five, six sides, there are other states. It's actually kind of scary because if the other states attack, you have nowhere to go. <laughs> South Carolina, y'all got the ocean. Yeah. So you can just run into the ocean. Yeah. And, you know, and we may have to. That's fine. We can do that in North Carolina, too. Yeah. It's just where we live in Raleigh is we have to drive before we can run into the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can see it really yeah. It, was, it was dark not long ago, but now, now you can see stuff. Very nice. Breakfast. 
pieces. I love them. I'm going to have to get another plate because I really wanted uh, French toast. And I'm realizing that yesterday I ate a very large meal and I'm starting my day with a very large meal. But in fairness, we have a lot going on today. So like yeah, having, just, a big day. having a little fuel is not a problem. So the first deal of the day is at Best Buy. Last of Us Part Two for PS4 is $10 and I didn't have it yet. So definitely want to play. Have you played this already? You definitely um, did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I didn't want to get too far into it. it for, for some reason, I, I stopped. But, like, there was a part that I got to that, like, I really enjoyed that actually reminded me a lot of a different Naughty Dog game. I'll just oh. say that. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Like, different series. It was great. Okay. Well, I do want to play this. Right. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I just know that I really want to experience the second one. So. Let's play Confirm. More or less. Next up is Sonic Mania for ten dollars oh, at, at uh, Walmart. Also, look at this. It look. I was telling them it looks like it's resealed because that's a really weird cellophane wrap. I mean, maybe it just like had a defect when it was sealing. It um, it doesn't matter. For ten dollars, it's it? fine. <laughs> Yeah. Is that from a, yeah, it's a PAL game, that's why. Uh, yeah, but the Switch is uh, region free, so it doesn't even matter. You can just buy well, whatever you want. In my brain. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's fine. Is this, yeah, this, like this new Pokemon Snap? Yeah. It's PAL. It's interesting. I've ordered a few PAL games because they have, um, there's some games that are only released in that region. Hey, you should play this. Yeah, you know, I, I, I feel like maybe I have. Think? Nah, maybe not, I'm not sure. Okay. I, um, wanted to point this out because I, I found this here and it's wild. I didn't know that this game existed. I know people are like, are you buying PS2 games? And the answer is, you know, mm -hmm. maybe. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, Josh. Josh is about to stab you. <laughs> no. You doing good at the dick duck? I'm okay. He's never played a cabinet. Yeah. Okay. I've only played a cabinet the game boy. <laughs> Oh no. TikTok is fun. It is. I played it for hours as a child. Really? Yeah, because it was portable, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. We need to film Brain the Rack of the Spider Man. Can you get in the Spider Man? Yeah. I can. <laughs> is he stuck? Is he trying to shift into neutral? Oh, yeah, that looks painful. Okay, oh, that's, oh no, oh no. Yeah, it's only a quarter to ride with Spider-Man, but the trauma lasts a lifetime. Sorry, Brandon. Sounds good. Dan, what'd you get? Um, a, 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 a doormat. It's a Hyrule crest. Oh, yeah, 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 because you guys live in a place that has a door. Yeah, but no man. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so I was like, well, I know Josh would be fine. I was like, it's all us, Brandon. He was like, But Brandon sure. is an anti-Zelda fan, and actually when we go home, I'm burning this. Oh. I'll just put it in my room. Outside of Pretty sure I saw you play Wind Waker earlier. Uh, no. No. All right, never mind. one kitty cat to another so we said um so we said goodbye to you know my, my dad Rocco we picked up the food and then we headed out of town and um you know we're we're back here now we did we brief did a very important thing though we did a very important thing mm -hmm. what is that we officially closed our old PO box 
Oh. I forgot about that part. Yes, we did. That did happen. That was the thing that we did. So we did that. Then we left town. Um, we went to, we briefly stopped by a limited run. Um, there was a sale going on, but then also I wanted to see if they had cat lateral damage finally on the Switch. They did, which was great, so I finally have that. Um, I looked through the other games, and I was like, eh, nothing I really wanted. And that was, that's basically it. Now we're just back. Kepler's, Kepler's, so excited Kepler's that really happy that we're home. Aren't you, bud? You good cat? Yeah. We have uh, leftovers from yesterday, so we had little trays made. So we're starting to heat those up and eat them, and then in an hour-ish, we're doing a stream, and um, I, I think we're playing Stray. I say I th I'm in the process of copying it to the PS5. I say I think because, like, that's been the plan. I am very tired, but apparently the game is pretty chill, so maybe it'll be fine. I was like, ah, I want to make sure I play something kind of a little low energy, more chill, but Dan has played it, and he said it's pretty chill, so if you say it's chill... And I believe you that it's chill. Yeah, it's it's a fun, explorey. At least like what I've played, I haven't beat it, but like I've gone through like a big chunk of it. So. Okay. Well, I mean, we wouldn't get. Yeah. More than two or three hours into it tonight, so. Dan's also the master of chill. Yeah. People, He's pretty chill. People um, on my stream are like, "Oh, this is chill," and I'm like, "I didn't intend it to be, but okay, thanks." Oh. So. Dan was like, that was my high energy voice. Yeah. I mean, I think being chill is probably good. What I mean is, if anyone knows, he knows. Dan okay. knows chill. Anyway, so yeah, I will probably play that then. Um, so we're just going to eat, and then Dan and Brandon will head back, and then we'll play a cat game. There's pie and cake. There's pie and cake. Oh, my God. There's so much to watch food. Oh. Oh, my God. I think this is one of the members of Daft Punk. So it's just a little bit later, and um, we just finished doing Stray. So first things first, I want to say uh, I've enjoyed Stray. We've put in, I don't know, two and a half hours or something like that, and uh, we've enjoyed it, enjoyed it immensely so far. Um, it's fun because, like, there's the mechanic side of it and like just being able to play a video game as a cat and that's really good and it's, it's handled well but then also from the the narrative side from the plot side like there's some really interesting stuff going on i'm like oh i want to learn more about this world i want to learn more about like what's going on behind the scenes and uh we'll learn more next week you know we'll play it more um on on friday now for the bad part um here's the bad part throughout the stream i started feeling not great um at the beginning of the stream like before i got started i i had started to get just a little tiny pain in my throat and i was like i don't like that i don't like having a pain in my throat just getting just a little pain in my throat and when we got started on the stream, the stream started pretty good, but then I started to just feel, I mean, I, I, may, I am exhausted. I haven't had, you know, quite enough rest over the, how much we've done the last two days. But I'm feeling like a little lethargic, a little exhausted, getting a sore throat. And then throughout the stream, like, and it's funny because I bet you can actually tell, I bet you can watch like the first little bit of the stream and then like skip ahead to the end. And like, I think you'd be able to see that, that decline. I start sneezing a lot. Like I'm sneezing a lot, which is something I don't do. Um, my nose started to get really runny and I think I'm getting sick. And that sucks because I haven't been sick in a while. I gotta say that I still have had a great two days, you know, and I, I feel like I've probably pushed myself a little bit because we did a lot of traveling um, and we've been a lot of different places, but 
overall, I've had a good time. You know, I've, en- I've enjoyed myself. That being said, now when I'm already exhausted to start feeling like this is like, oh, great. But it's okay. I mean, I'll do what I, I'll do what I have to. Um, Mal, you said you're not, f- you're okay? Okay, so it's mild if she has it. The other thing I've, I've noticed from, you know, being with Mal for almost 15 years is that any time I get sick, how it typically works is I get sick, Mal gets sick, Mal gets better, I get better. So Mal gets better generally very quickly. So if she gets something, she may feel a little off, but usually not to the degree I do, and then for less time. And I'm very envious of that, but that is typically how it goes. So, you know, if she, if I am actually sick and if she is actually getting, you know, whatever's going on with me, um, then she may not have it for as long as, as I do. So we will see what happens. We will see how I feel tomorrow. Um, and then, you know, just so I can hopefully not do anything to, to hurt Mao, I will probably sleep in the guest room tonight um oh i don't know if i ever talked about it on the vlog but i kind of solved my little sleep problem by i mean i have to close the door to ensure that kepler stays out so that's the important that's one important part and then the other thing is i use my phone to play uh white noise it's those two things because keeping kepler out is important but then he'll make noise because he's going through the transition period of wanting to be in the room but if i play white noise i can't hear him that was it. it. Solves my problems. So I'll do that tonight. I'm, like I said, I'll, I think I'll probably just sleep in the guest room. Um, I am feeling really, really bad all of a sudden. But I'm also exhausted. And I have not, you know, had, had enough good rest. Um, so I'm sure that that's playing into it a lot as well. So hopefully if I can get some good rest, get some, you know, meds in me, perhaps I will feel different tomorrow. But for now... It's not ideal. It's not ideal. Like right now, the second, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I was, you know, I was been, I've been with Dan and Brandon, but I didn't feel bad until this evening. Um, so I hope that they'll be fine. Uh, I know that we were, we were planning on doing tabletop stream with them on Sunday, but that based on how I feel now, I probably won't do that unless I have, unless I have a miraculous, uh, you know, turn of events in the morning, but we'll see. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope that if there was something that you were interested in for um, for the, the shopping event today, that um, you were able to get it. If you are a retail employee, um, I hope that the day was all right. You know, I hope that it wasn't the the worst thing in the world. Um, you know, we were out at a few stores today, and I got a chance to see some things, and we went. By the time that we were at the stores, it was probably, you know, around 11. And think, you know, it, the stores were busy, but they weren't, like, crazy, you know. Like, there was there was more people shopping than, than average, but it wasn't like you couldn't move or anything. So it was not awful. And the, the big thing is just TVs. And I guess it's kind of every Black Friday, right? Just people want televisions. But um, especially Best Buy, there was so many. There's t- There's stacks. I mean, just stacks and stacks and stacks, like hundreds of TVs. I guess it's just because, like, they knew, you know, tis the season. All right, I'm rambling. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?